Hello everyone out there, this is Lloyd Swartz, CEO of My Auction Addiction, bringing you another weekly addictive YouTube video that is designed to be informative for either a buyer or a seller working within one of our communities. Uh, of course, we now have uh, also have a community up in Colorado, so hopefully soon to have more. Um, I last time I mentioned was going to address security evolving around estates and estate sales and houses that have been sitting a while, but this week I'm going to change it up a bit. Uh, this video could be geared toward either buyers or sellers, but we've had a tough week, guys. We had some emotional clients, challenging clients that were in very difficult states of transition. Um, very busy. It's our busy season. Uh, generally, March through uh, July is our busiest season and into August. And um, so, yeah, it's been pretty challenging. And on top of that, we've had some tragedies in our community. We've had some tragic deaths. And uh, on top of that, uh, we are working on the most difficult, tragic, most tragic estate sale project we've ever had. I won't go into the details. Uh, but to say, suffice to say, it's it's affected uh, all of us around here. And let's talk about, first of all, why does my action addiction exist? Why are we here, right? Why is Cody doing what she's doing? Why might other folks be out there doing estate sales or starting other my action addiction communities across the country? Well, first and foremost, we're here to make money. You know, they're gonna bat, not going to bat around it. Um, we need to eat, we need to put food on our uh, tables, we need to take care of our kids, we need to send them off to college, whatever. We need to take care of ourselves. So that's one of the reasons, and, and it's a big reason why we do what we do. Who's going to do an estate sale? Who's going to help liquidate everything in a home within a week or two or three um, without some sort of compensation? So yeah, of course we do it for the money. But some folks out there kind of believe, well, that's the only reason they do it. Well, that's not true. Um, it's a tough business. Every, every business, everybody says that, right? Every business has its challenges. Well, we have our challenges too. And uh, just as we've seen in this last week. And so we, we can't just do it for the money, guys. We also do it because we love helping people. And I think all you know me, you know Sandy, you know Debbie. Many of you don't know Cody up in Colorado, but you certainly know Esther. And we all are doing this also because we love to help people. We know it's challenging when you're making a big move across country or, you know, you've reached a point where you need to move into assisted living and you're going to make that big life change or maybe uh, or maybe a, a loved one's passed away and you're dealing with the challenges uh, of moving on from that and liquidating your estate. All these things are very emotional events and we are here to assist in any way we can getting from the point of cleaning out the house, selling everything, maybe getting the trash out, maybe making donations, maybe helping getting the house cleaned up even further, maybe even doing some maintenance on that. Whatever we need to do to help you get to the point where a realtor can then take over and liquidate the house. But we're doing it because we care. We really do care. And, um, you know, guys, I can tell you how much we care. Uh, there are certain jobs we've all cried over, you know, uh, and, and it happened to me recently over this one project we're working on because it was so emotional that I actually woke up crying in the middle of the night. Not kidding, guys. It, it's the truth. And, and I wouldn't do that if I didn't care. Now, we also do this because we enjoy making new discoveries, going to new places, finding new things, researching things, finding out things were valuable that we had no idea. Uh, so there's a lot of things, other components to this, but caring is a big part of what we do. Um, so hopefully that helps everybody understand a little bit about where we as my auction addiction community uh, you know, operators come from and employees and why we're here to do what we do. Now, as what it talk a little bit about just just tragedy guys um it's all around us it's drives a lot of our business which is kind of i guess it's kind of like the funeral business right you know i mean we, we can't step in a lot of times not always but a lot of times when there's been a tragedy um 
we've also seen um, you know a couple of suicides recently um, and, and those are those, those are particularly difficult to deal with so my message out there to you is if you feel like first of all you are someone that you are the person that has entered this or is entering this dark space that they just don't feel like they can ever crawl out of again talk to someone that that's it i mean just talk to anyone i don't care who it is you talk to it doesn't have to be a therapist it's whoever you feel comfortable with you have to talk to someone and understand that when you commit suicide the effects are just so much greater than you can imagine the hurt the pain that's delivered i'm an estate seller and i'm crying over an estate dealing with suicide right i mean can you imagine the family members the fr and yes there are friends out there everybody has friends no matter how dark a space you go into you, you you're just denying the fact that you have friends and family that care about you now for those of you and again these may be future customers of ours they're dealing with a suicide um understand that every time we get into this situation we find basically the same result and that is that loved ones family members friends simply had no way to know that things were that bad or that this person had been captured into this dark dark space and they were going to do what they were going to do and you know i you know I always hear this cliche about survivors blaming themselves and, and i'm going to tell you you just can't if you think that way at all at any point talk to someone there's likely nothing you could have done if the person reaches out to you for help obviously you can help but you know kind of my observation has been that people that hurt themselves are looking for help people that actually commit suicide successfully um, are not out there trying to seek help and they actually succeed with the process and generally speaking again Nobody knew how bad it was in the family. Nobody, no friends. Um, they might have known, oh, maybe they were in debt. <sighs> Who isn't in debt? Who hasn't had debt problems? Or maybe they broke up with their girlfriend or their wife or they're having a divorce. And a di Who hasn't had a, a majority of people are going to get divorced at some point in their life. Everybody deals with those things. So to believe and tie that together and say, well, my friend or my brother is um, got debt and having a big divorce, so he may commit suicide. You, you just can't go there. And so um, whatever it is that clicks in these folks' minds when they eat, enter that dark territory, you know, um, there's not a whole lot you can do about it other than mourn their passing and, um, you know, celebrate their life that they did have. And so, guys, I, I'm sorry that this weekly <laughs> YouTube video had a bit about such a serious issues. I just, guys, I, I've had needed to talk about things after, and, and you know, one of my employees has been having to talk about things because of the other tragedy in our community. And so, guys, this is part of my healing is talking about these things. I don't know if any of this is useful to you, but um, I certainly hope it is, guys. We'll certainly uh, turn to something more productive and positive next week. Um, maybe I'll take up the security issue or maybe I'll do something a little more upbeat after this. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you viewing this video. Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you find these videos helpful and like our videos. It just kind of helps our SEO and helps our community grow. And uh, if we can be of service in a time of need for your family, uh, please be sure to reach out to uh, us at AlbuquerqueAuctionAddiction.com or uh, at our email or call, just call us, uh, you know, 505-252-0915. Have a great day, guys, and um, I hope everything's going awesome for you right now.